I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Jared Heil with an update on the drought situation and our monsoon forecast for the rest of the summer season. It's been a little bit since we've issued our official uh, monsoon outlook back in the early part of June and we have seen some rain since then. So let's just see how everything is stacking up at this point in time. We want to start by going back uh, and taking a look at um, October through now and you can see here that still much of Arizona is way below normal on rainfall. In fact, 30 to 70 percent of normal for much of the state, including areas like Phoenix, Tucson, and Yuma, and up toward, uh, let's say, the, um, the Hoover Dam area and Lake Mead. For 2022 in Phoenix, about two inches or so below normal on rainfall so far, and that's around the sixth driest on record start to a calendar year anyway. So this is not great news. The good news we've had is that we have seen some precipitation recently. We've had three days in Phoenix with measurable rain. Some areas have seen some uh, really healthy rainfall amounts. Other areas not so much. It's been scattered, which is typical for monsoon moisture. And this was because we did see an increase in dew points and subtropical moisture into the state mid and latter half of June. That's going to change a little bit over the next few days, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But what this did do was actually give much of the state well above normal precipitation, as much as 300 to 500 percent of normal. And you would think, wow, that's a lot of rain. <laughs> well, unfortunately, because of the fact that June is our driest month, it doesn't take very much rainfall uh, to produce anomalies of three to five times what you would typically see. If you average a tenth of an inch of rain a month in June, well then you're talking about only a half an inch of rain. That's really not a drought buster. So this is not enough yet, especially for the long-term drought. This is the current drought status. Notice here all of the state colored in some form of yellow, which means we're abnormally dry or worse with the worst drought conditions up toward the uh, Lake Mead area and in south of Tucson. And on the right over the next 30 days, the drought uh, outlook uh, calls for tendencies of improving but still persisting drought conditions over uh, much of the state of Arizona. So kind of like what we've been having. The drought is going to remain in place. Some of the short-term drought issues will be helped by the fact that we're seeing some of this monsoon rain. But overall, the long-term 20-year drought we've experienced is not going to be alleviated by any of the moisture we've seen so far and likely not from just this monsoon season either. Here is the forecast for the next week on rainfall. A little bit of rain in southeast Arizona, but we are going into a drier pattern for the rest of the state over the next week or so. Toward the middle of the month, that may start to change in the CPC to show um, odds of slightly above normal precipitation over Arizona in the week two period, which is around mid-month, so uh, we can hope for that. In the meantime, taking a look at the long-term seasonal forecast that was updated just about a week and a half to two weeks ago from the CPC, uh, this point being Phoenix, about a 39% chance, let's call it a 40% chance, of above normal precipitation uh, from July through September but also around a 25 to 30% chance of that being below normal precipitation. So as you see, as you break out this map with the green color on it, it's not necessarily saying it's going to be wetter than normal. It just says that the odds are tilted slightly in favor of above normal precip. And we take a look at the long-term weather trends. The CPC looks at forecast models and guidance to make this forecast. So let's show you a couple of the long-range forecast models that are out there right now. First of which is the uh, CFS monthly model. This is going through the end of August. Near normal precipitation for much of the state. A couple of areas uh, painted with above normal precipitation. Meanwhile, this would be bad news. This is the latest European weekly model that goes through August 17th and it paints much of Arizona with below normal precipitation, although it does increase some of the monsoon moisture at the end of July and first part of August, but this would not be a great situation. Long-term forecasts are notoriously difficult, um, but at this time, with the data that's available, we are leaning with the CPC forecast toward near or just above normal precipitation, but still, again, about a 25 to 30% chance that this may work out. 
We'll just have to kind of wait and see. Uh, the good news is we've had a little bit of an early jump start to the monsoon. We hope that that trend will continue and some of that moisture returns for the middle and second half of July and into August. But that's the latest situation right now in terms of the data we have. And we'll keep you updated on the drought and the monsoon forecast right here at the NWS Phoenix.